downloading and installing the free version of Malwarebytes. I've heard from some folks that this tends to be a little confusing for a couple of different reasons. So I want to run you through the steps of actually getting the free version, the truly free version of Malwarebytes. So we'll look for Malwarebytes and we'll go ahead and just go to their website. There are a couple of different places to get the download link for the truly free version. Malwarebytes free down here um, underneath the current page has it. The other page that's worth going to is their pricing page. So if I just go to malwarebytes.com slash pricing, you'll see the whole line of personal editions. Needless to say, we're going to use the download now button on the free version. We will run it. We do want to let it make changes to our device. Like most anti-malware tools, it does require low level access. English will be fine for me. Choose the language that's appropriate for you. We are installing it on a personal computer. As with all uh, tools that you download from the internet, always check on advanced options. In this case, we are going to let it have the default uh, download installa uh, installation folder, and we'll let it create a desktop shortcut. At this point, we are in fact done with the browser, so we'll go ahead and close that. And we're done with the installation. Now you can see two things. One is that there is now a Malwarebytes icon down in the task uh, bars notification area. And we do in fact have the uh, desktop shortcut as promised. So this I think is what has a lot of people concerned and confused. This is the truly free version. Uh, what it what it's telling you here is that for the first 14 days, you'll be using their premium version, a trial version of their premium version. They are very interested, of course, in upselling you to a paid version of the product. However, when your trials expires, you will no longer be protected. Your Malwarebytes software will only be able to clean up malware infections. Since I typically recommend Malwarebytes as an auxiliary scanning tool to be used as needed. That's exactly what we want. That's okay. So we'll go ahead and let this happen. We'll get started and we'll go ahead and scan the machine now. Now, obviously this can take a little while depending on your, uh, the speed of your machine, the size of your hard disk and so forth. So we'll let that go ahead and do its thing. And we're done. So the scan has happened. Uh, we don't really need to do much of anything else. We don't need to activate a license. We don't need to upgrade now. In 14 days after this install, the behavior of the tool will, no likely, will most likely change. And the tool will then become a scan only, fix only um, tool that will not give you proactive, uh, continuous uh, coverage like an installed antivirus tool usually does. But as I said earlier, that's exactly what we want out of the free version of Malwarebytes. We want it to be an auxiliary secondary tool that we use as needed. So scanning and removing malware uh, does not require the full version of the product. So run the, tr run the premium trial for 14 days if you like, but at the end of 14 days, keep it, let it do what it does. Um, it'll probably turn into nagware but that's still okay if you're only using it occasionally to target certain problems.